clase, you'll be learning Spanish present tense in this video. You're going to learn how to conjugate verbs that are regular verbs in present tense. Feel free to get a blank sheet of paper and pen and only use it if you must. This video is going to have all of the rules and tips and tricks that you can use. And just watching this video will give you a great understanding of what you need to do. For Spanish and Atlanta students that signed up for level two, you've all been emailed your study guides, your homework. And also remember that when you go to SpanishAndAtlanta.com, log in, go to your profile, and then you'll be able to do the online quizzes and extra video exercises that we have available for you. Bien? Bueno, listo. Here we go. Bueno, clase, what you're looking at here are Spanish verbs. These are pure infinitive verbs that haven't been conjugated yet. Unconjugated verbs are verbs that tell us what action is being done, but we don't know who's doing it and we don't know when it's being done. Okay? When you conjugate a verb, what you're saying is that there is a person doing these things. So, for example, we have this person and we have this action. When you put the action together with the person, you get those boxes we talked about earlier. Box number one is, who are you talking about? So this is the person in your sentence, the subject. Now we need to put action to go along with it. So this, act, this word tells us what action this person is doing. When we put these two things together, we get a sentence, a simple sentence, and we have to conjugate a verb. Conjugating a verb is what you're gonna be learning in this video. We'll be doing present tense conjugations of regular verbs, bien? If you don't understand sentence structure, then you must review your level one material or wait for a video that covers that material later on, bien? Bueno, listo. Entonces, don't worry about what these words mean. Right now, it's important to understand how these verbs change and what is the, the reaction that they have when you put a subject next to them. Okay? So just watch and learn. So our sentence is going to start with el. This is the person doing all of these verbs. Yeah? So we have el descansa. El aprende. El bebe. You see what I'm doing? El viaja. El aprende, el estudia. You're not saying estudiar. You're saying estudia. Why? Because the subject makes you do that. That's why box number one is the most powerful box in your sentence. It is your subject. It is what your sentence is about. So when you put a subject together with an action, the verb has to be conjugated. And removing this R is a conjugation of a verb. You see how simple that is? So, él estudia, él comprende, él descansa, él trabaja, él habla, él camina, él maneja. Muy bien. This is what you must always do in present tense when a singular male is doing the action. Now, what do we do when we have ella? Ella. Ella. Descansa. Ella aprende, ella bebe, ella viaja, ella aprende español, ella estudia, ella comprende, ella descansa, ella maneja, ella camina, ella habla, ella trabaja. You see? When you start a sentence with femenina o masculina, it really doesn't matter. The verb doesn't care if it's a femenina or not. What we care about if it's a third person, uh, and that's it. Is it second, first, second, or third person? So even though this is masculino, the verb doesn't change because femenina is a third person as well. ¿Ve? So if we have el descansa, we also have ella descansa. Yeah. Please refer to Spanish and Atlanta study guide. The, the study guide that we emailed you. For those students that sign up with us, you get uh, study guides, videos, online quizzes, and all that good stuff. We email you the homework. So what you're looking at right now is the video version of the study guide that we've already emailed you. Bien? So you can refer to that to just put it all together and get a really strong uh, foundation going for present tense. Look what happens when we have a yes. A yes. 
Ellas descansan. Ellas aprenden. Ellas beben. Ellas viajan. Ellas aprenden. Ellas estudian. Comprenden. Descansan. Trabajan. Hablan. Caminan. Manejan. The subject has changed. Now we have uh, plural. Yes, this is third person plural. Entonces, ellas, ellas, ellas is the reason why you must do this to the verb. You cannot say trabaja because you have more than one. Okay? If there's only one, you say trabaja. But now we have ellas, so you must say trabaja. So you see, this is a lot like math. If you add or subtract people, the verb is going to show that, which is why we have to conjugate verbs. When, when you're creating sentences, okay? Now we will have ellos, ellos. It doesn't matter if we have ellas or ellos. It's the same treatment. Ellos descansan. Ellos aprenden. Ellos beben. Ellos viajan. Ellos aprenden. Ellos estudian. Ellos estudian, ellos comprenden, ellos descansan, ellos trabajan, ellos hablan, ellos caminan, ellos manejan. Make sure that that N sound is there at the end. That's how we know that with the subject is a plural. Conjugations of verb become easier when the more you do them. The person doing the action now is going to be nosotros. Nosotros. So now we have nosotros. Nosotros is doing the action. When you have nosotros, look what happens to the verb. Nosotros descansamos. Nosotros aprendemos. Nosotros bebemos, nosotros viajamos, nosotros aprendemos, nosotros estudiamos, nosotros comprendemos, nosotros descansamos, nosotros trabajamos, nosotros hablamos, nosotros caminamos, nosotros manejamos. Remember what I said earlier that Spanish is very matchy matchy or it rhymes. Just like the O goes with the yo, so does the mos go with the nosotros. You see how we have os here, os here? So a lot of times you just have to use your eyes and you'll be able to figure things out. Another thing is things will sound right. Uh, the more you practice these, you're going to know what sounds right and what sounds like a, what sounds off. Entonces... Uh, your ears and your eyes can be a great asset. Bueno, listo. Moving onward. We have one more. Tú. <laughs> when the person that's doing the action is tú, look what happens to the verb. We have tú descansas, tú aprendes. Tú bebes, tú viajas. Very important, important that you put that is. Nosotros, excuse me, tú aprendes, tú estudias, tú comprendes, tú descansas, tú trabajas, tú hablas, tú caminas y tú manejas. Bien? I do not teach vos o vosotros. So don't expect that in this video. Vos and vosotros is just used in probably just three countries in the, in the world. Spaniards in Spain, Argentinians, maybe Uruguay and Paraguay, but that's it. We don't use a lot of Spanish speaking countries don't use vos and vosotros, so I'm not going to teach that in that bit in this video. If you are the exception and you need to learn this, you will, it's an easy lesson, you can learn it on your own. Uh, or you can just go to that country and you'll start to figure out how to use it yourself. Vos and vosotros requires a different conjugation for these verbs. 
So that's all I'm going to say about that. Bueno, listo. Entonces, now that you know how to conjugate verbs, what you just did here is conjugate regular verbs. Spanish verbs come in three flavors. We have AR verbs, as you see here. We have ER verbs, and we have IRs. I did not put any IR verbs in this video. They're a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same thing. We're focusing on ARs and ERs today. Uh, that's nice to know, but it's not like super important. Uh, what is important to do is to be very good at conjugating these verbs. One good, uh, when, when you get your homework, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to conjugate these out of order, okay? So can you do a whole row of yo? And it would look something like this. Yo descanso, yo aprendo, yo bebo, yo viajo. Now you have, eh, ellas aprenden, ellas estudian, ellas comprenden, ellas descansan. Nosotros, nosotros trabajamos, nosotros hablamos, nosotros caminamos, y nosotros manejamos. Muy bien. It's so important to have visual aids and study guides you can touch. Okay? All of us are visual learners, but some of us are extra visual learners, more so than the, the rest. And those types of students must have vis visual aids. But it's important for everyone. It doesn't matter what type of uh, learning uh, style you have, you must have visual aids. And it's so important to be able to, have, to, be able to touch these and play around with them. Color is strategic. Make sure that you use colorful um, index cards. The brain scans and learns better when there is color involved. Bueno, listo. So that is it on present tense in Spanish. Conjugating verbs uh, that are regular in present tense. Present tense means that the actions that you have here are happening right now. Okay? Later you will learn past tense, future tense, etc. Tenses tell people when these actions occurred. So present tense is in the present tense. Bien? Bueno, listo, my dears. Muy bien, clase. So that's it on present tense, uh, conjugation of regular verbs that are AR, ER, and IR. Bien? If you have any questions, contact us here in Spanish in Atlanta. You can go to SpanishInAtlanta.com and email us your inquiries. For Spanish in Atlanta students, please do the homework. Watch this video multiple times so that you are able to see what you need to do. It's always important to get started on doing things and not thinking about it so much. Theory is nice, but if theory doesn't equal execution, then you're gonna always stay in that level that you are. Bien, so use this video, study it, and then take advantage of our study guide that we've created to go perfectly with this video. Bueno, listo. For those of you that would like to take Spanish lessons, SpanishInAtlanta.com is our website. We are available to teach anywhere in the world, really. Uh, we're using Zoom, so we'll be able to con contact or connect with you via uh, this wonderful software. Uh, we do tutoring, we do private lessons, whatever it is that you need, we also give a free assessment. So if you need help but don't know exactly how to get started, contact us and we'll be happy to guide you. Bueno, listo, clase. See you next time. Chao, chao.